this is Dave WM. I'm talking about this um, Scott, Scott Stereo Master 348B. And just a little update on it. When I got it, I noticed that the uh, volume on the left was a little bit on the weak side. I always had to have the uh, the balance adjusted over more to the left. And I noticed also it seemed to be in the multiplexer because if I switched to mono or stereo or anything like that, it was fairly well balanced. But when I did this between left and right, that actually selects the left or right input from the multiplexer. The volume was noticeably lower when I went to L versus right. Anyway, I decided I would dig into it a little bit. and This has got a pretty straightforward multiplex setup. It has you a tweaking one coil while measuring, while dipping a voltage and maxing a voltage. Not a big deal. That was fairly easy to do. I just used my uh, my Simpson 260, it's 20 ohms, 20,000 ohms per volt, which is what it specified to use, and that was straightforward enough. But the real improvement took place when I broke out this. I think I might have shown this before, but I'll touch on it one more time. You go and you get this at a, I don't know, I think I got this one at. Radio Shack or Walmart or something like that. And all you got to do is get a little adapter here, left and right, right? And you just kind of put this back by the antenna, and you tune it to uh, like the high side of the dial, and then you get yourself an audio oscillator. I used a, um, I used a, a heat kit RF generator, which also had an audio 400 hertz tone in it, and you just basically uh, touch left and right to the output from the from that audio oscillator and you can dream of whatever audio oscillator you want and then you adjust the uh, separation pots there's two little there's two separation pots on the multiplex board on this set and you basically just you know set this balance to like full left and then touch the right and you adjust separation to like, minimize the left sound then you go to the you take the balance you go full right and you switch plugs and you Minimum, you know, adjust your separation pots again until you get the the best separation. And I, you know, I, I went back a couple back, back and forth a couple times doing it, and uh, they worked great. And when I got that done, my loudness issue is now consistent on both channels. So I don't know what what had happened, or somebody had messed with it, or what, or something that just drifted. But that resolved the. Um, it gives me great separation, and. Uh, and the equal volume output from the multiplex. Uh, sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually put a scope on the left and right and look at it uh, right from the output from the multiplex and you can see the, 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 the tone and you can tweak it a little bit better. But you know, I, you don't really need to do that. I mean, you can do it by ear as long as you use this thing in a nice tone and it's really not that easy. So don't be afraid to fool that multiplexer a little bit, you know. it's uh, don't go, don't go tweaking just coils randomly. Try to get the instructions. Try to figure out what does what. But this tool here, which wasn't, a, you know, wasn't available back when this thing was made, makes setting that thing up super easy. Getting that separation maxed out and really clean sounding. Anyway, I love this stereo. It's great. You know, it's a, it's a really nice stereo. Really sensitive. And, uh, you know, I've got a renewed appreciation for uh, solid state stuff, especially early solid state. I don't know. I just uh, I just think it's better. Oh, you can see my reflection there. Anyway, that's it. That's all for now. Thanks for, for watching Dave WM.